All right, let me just adjust the camera. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Ace TMP here, and in this video, uh, I decided I'm gonna be opening up some old magic packs that I actually got for a really good deal on Card Kingdom. Uh, I got these for a very decent price. I think like 10 bucks was like the initial price, um, not counting shipping for all these together. I got three packs of Fallen Empires and one pack of Homelands. Homelands is supposed to be like a bad set. I mean, Fallen Empires isn't known to be too great either, except the thing is, is I didn't get it to like, if I were wanting to pull something amazing, I would spend like all my money on one revised pack since they're like $94 a piece. But I figured... I wanted to just get like some old packs just to see what's what it's like. So I figured I'm not going to open up this Fallen Empires pack. I'm just going to put it in my collection of packs that I haven't opened. I Yeah, it, it, it exists and its population is like two packs. But I'm going to be opening up all these other ones. Both Fallen Empires packs and one Homelands. I'm going to start with Homelands actually. And I'm going to save these wrappers and add them to my actually vast collection of pack wrappers from across both Pokemon and Magic. I'm going to be careful not to cut the cards. I don't think there's anything at all worth any value to pull from any of these sets, but, you know, I mean, I'm, I still don't want to cut the cards. Let's check out some of these old cards. They're so fresh. They feel just like new cards, but like... Uh, oh, I knocked over the camera. Sorry. They're just a little bit, like, darker in shade, I think, on the back. They're a little bit bent, but then again, like, is there a land on the back? I'm not going to do take anything off the back, though, because if they're isn't a land on the back. Hold on, wait a minute. Before we open up these, we have to read the description. Okay. Hidden away by my mysterious wizard for generations. The forgotten world of Homeland. What kind of world is called home? I'm not even going to ask. Oh, it's discovery revealed within many peoples, cultures, and creatures in the realm. Complex allegiances centered surplots. Whoa, what secrets will you uncover as you venture to... Okay, yeah, cool. You get the idea. I don't know if you can see that too well. Pause it if you want to read the whole thing. It's not too much. I I've heard that this is a very, like, cheaply made and poorly thrown together set, and I can definitely see that, but still pretty cool. It doesn't even seem like it follows along any real main magic storyline, whereas H Fallen Empires, which I will read the actual storyline for that seriously, it's got a nice storyline. So, here we go. Um, Dwarven Sea Clan. This is pretty cool. Broken Visage. Or Visage, however you say it. Ambush Party. Hungry Mist, Dark Maze, Willow Fairy, Folk of Anhava. Is there a last card? How do I know what's rare and what's not? Isn't, doesn't it say on the set symbol? Because if, judging by what I see, these are all commons. That's so strange. Uh, Giant Albatross. I mean, like, that's cool. But there is no rare. If there is, I didn't see it. But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool Homelands pack. Alright, now on to Fallen Empires, which is my most anticipated one, because not I wasn't looking too forward to Homelands, I just figured it was like two bucks, and I was like, eh, why not? You know, might as well throw it into the cart. Oh, that's satisfying, okay. Okay, next. Again, I don't, now these ones, I think, yeah, you can kind of tell. Let's, we can even compare it to, like, a uh, Homelands card. You can definitely tell the, the quality of the uh, Fallen Empires. It was thrown together better. It's also considerably older, I'm pretty sure, though. So, I don't know if it's... I want to see what year. What year is Homelands? 1995. Oh, wait. Yeah, 1995. Wow. So, it is just poorly thrown together. But Homelands is a pretty official set. Him to 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 rash, thorn thalid, hammered warrior, armor thrall, order of light bird. That's cool. Elvish hunter, thelonite druid, spirit shield, and that's that's the last card in the pack. Again, I don't see any commons or uncommon. I mean, like they all look like commons, but I don't know where the uncommons or the rare is. Maybe there's just no rare. Was that how it worked back in the day? You just, like, you hope you you found a rare and you don't know if you did. I'm pretty sure, though, like, for car... I know that, like, in the earlier sets, they didn't have set symbols. But for these ones, I'm pretty damn sure that they had set symbols. 
Well, no, I, I know they have set symbols, but like the, the rarity, if it was on the set symbol is what I want to know. All right, let's be sure not to open up our last uh, Fallen Empires pack and to, uh, of utmost importance, open up only these packs. This is, this is important because I want to preserve it. All right, let's get a Acacian Scout. Ictian, however you say it. Armor Thrall again, but it's like different. Necrite. Initiates of the Ebon Hand. Orcish Veteran. Mercine. Thrall. Retainer. Heroism. And that's the last card in the pack. So, nonetheless, even though they're technically at it, yeah, the uncommons are rares i still find that these to be some really cool sets i'm glad we got our hands on some old cards i really find that to be pretty cool we definitely got some pretty cool cards and our homelands pack as well i can't forget so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i am in fact going to preserve this fallen empires pack thank you so much for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe most importantly comment all right that's what i care about the most tell me what you want me to do next and i will see you guys in the next video